Hi everyone. Welcome to our CKLA Knowledge Unit 6 Cycles of Nature. In this lesson, we will be learning about the cycle of daytime and nighttime. Your objectives. I can provide examples of cycles. I can explain how the rotation of the earth causes daytime and nighttime. I can demonstrate an understanding of the tier two word stage. And I can observe and describe how the rotation of the earth causes daytime and nighttime. Let's get ready to learn about the cycle of daytime and nighttime. Listen carefully to learn what we experience daytime and nighttime. A cycle is like a circle that goes around and around. Just like there are circular objects that go around and around, there are also many natural cycles that occur on Earth that happen again and again too. A cycle is a sequence of events that repeats itself again and again. Just like you can pick any part of the circle to, begin, to be the starting point. Just like you can pick any part of the circle to be the starting point, we choose one part of each natural cycle to be our starting point. This makes it easier to talk about all the parts of the cycle. The most important thing to remember is that cycles always come back to the chosen starting point before start starting over again. All living things are part of a cycle of life that keeps going around and around. What does this mean? It means that almost all living things are born, grow, reproduce, or make babies, and eventually die. The reproduction of living things is one way that life continues on Earth. A life cycle includes each stage that a living thing goes through from birth to adult. Here the word stage means a particular time in the growth of something. You will hear a lot more about life cycles later in this domain. First, there are other cycles in nature that make life on Earth possible, too. Earth spins around and around a never-ending cycle that shapes everything that we do here on Earth. The Earth is constantly moving. Can we feel the Earth moving? Think. No? Thumbs up, thumbs down? As Earth turns around, part of it faces the sun and part of it faces away from the sun. Remember, the sun is a star that provides light, heat, and energy for the earth. Can you guess what cycle happens when our part of the earth faces the sun and then rotates to face away from the sun? Did you guess the cycle of daytime and nighttime? The cycle of daytime and nighttime is the result of our planet rotating or spinning around on an imaginary line called an axis. The axis is right here on this model. What's an axis? Well, imagine a spinning basketball turning around and around. Then try to picture an imaginary line running through the basketball from the top to the bottom. That imaginary line is what we call an axis. So try to imagine an invisible line running through our body from head to foot, a central line or axis around which we can spin. Hmm. Earth's axis passes through the North and South Poles. It takes 24 hours for Earth to rotate or spin one time on its axis. Rotation is the movement of Earth on its axis. This controls the cycle of daytime and nighttime. Earth takes 24 hours to turn or rotate back to the position from which it started. Rotation takes us from daytime to nighttime 
and back to the very beginning of daytime again before the cycle starts over. As Earth rotates, light from the sun falls on one half of the Earth. We call this daytime. The other half of Earth is in darkness, and we call this nighttime. As Earth continues to rotate, the part of Earth that has sunlight moves into darkness, and the part that had darkness moves into the sunlight. This is a never-ending cycle of daytime and nighttime. The cycle of daytime and nighttime begins with sunrise in the early morning. Sunlight hits our planet and moves across Earth from east to west. When we see the sun rising in the east in the morning and setting in the west in the evening, it is because of the Earth rotating or spinning. For people on Earth, it makes sense to say that the sun rises in the morning. Each morning at dawn, the sun appears in the eastern sky on the horizon. The horizon is the line we see in the distance where the ground meets the sky, like right here that I'm showing you. At dawn, some people say, look, the sun is coming up. But think for a minute, folks. Is the sun really moving or coming up? If you're saying no, you're correct, no. What is actually happening? Actually, the earth is moving, but to us it looks like the sun is moving. Isn't that interesting? This first appearance of the sun above the eastern horizon is called sunrise. This is the horizon. Over the course of the day, the sun appears to move across the sky, gradually following its path from east to west. In the evening, the sun sets in the west. Ever so slowly, it appears lower in the sky and disappears below the horizon. That's when people say the sun is going down. But think, is the sun really going down? Why can't we see it anymore? This disappearance of the sun below the western horizon is called the sunset. Based on what we can see from where we live on Earth, it seems sensible to say that the sun moves across the sky each day, rising or moving up in the east and setting or sinking down in the west. But that's not actually true. It is the daily rotation or spin of the earth that makes the sun appear to rise and set each day. Think for a moment. Have you seen a sunset recently? Imagine, think what it looks like when the sun sets. Hmm. This daily rotation explains why there is always daytime and nighttime on Earth. As it spins, certain parts of Earth's surface face the sun. Cert this daily rotation explains why there is always daytime and nighttime on Earth. As it spins, certain parts of Earth's surface face the sun, receiving its heat and light. When it is light on one side of Earth, it is dark on the other. Okay. So, if it is daytime where you are right now, then on the other side of the earth, it is nighttime, and the children there are sound asleep. And when you are nestled in your bed tonight, children on the other side of the planet will be waking up to a bright new day. How does the cycle of daytime and nighttime affect living things on earth? The sun is extremely important to life on Earth. All plants and animals and people rely on the sun in order to thrive or grow well. The sun's energy gives life to plants, which in turn nourish animals and people. When you nourish something, you provide it with what it needs to grow. The sun's heat keeps the surface of Earth warm enough for plants and animals to survive. In the next few lessons, we will learn all about how the sun affects living things throughout the four seasons. 
Thanks for listening. Thanks for watching.